What's up everyone, I'm Poker Trainer Nick, and in this video we're gonna be opening up this Scarlet and Violet base set booster box. So stay tuned and see what we get when we come back. Welcome back everyone. Like I said, we're gonna be opening up this Scarlet and Violet base set booster box. Um, so I'm a little late to the game here. I've, this has been sitting on the shelf for probably weeks. We're, look, we're already looking at uh, Paldea Evolved coming out soon. Uh, I think it's already out, so uh, we're pretty late. Uh, but you know what, it's summer here, the weather's nice. We've been outside doing outdoor activities. Um, haven't really been doing too many Pokemon card openings, even though I've still had product coming in. Um, but you know what, we're gonna get back into it and uh, hopefully we pull some fire from this box. So this is a 36 pack booster box. Um, as of right now, me and Maria have only opened up an elite trainer box for Scarlet and Violet, if you can believe it. So we did a we did a, some Japanese booster boxes of this set. Um, we did only in a, a Pokemon Center elite trainer box versus a retail elite trainer box uh, for this English uh, variety. Um, so that's that's all we've done. Um, so this is this is gonna this is gonna kind of turn the fate here. Uh, this is the new era of Pokemon, and hopefully we get some good stuff. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this uh, saran wrap off and I'm going to open it up and we're going to circle back. All right. Uh, so the, the booster box is open. Uh, this is the English variant. Um, I think I got this from Game Nerds. I don't I, I don't get sponsored by them at all. It's just where I buy my booster boxes sometimes because it's it's usually inexpensive in comparison to some of the other options. Um, but what I'm going to do like I do for every booster box opening is I'm going to take two off the top. Um, so these two packs are going to go into the sealed collection that I have. One day in the future, I may open them. I may get them graded. You never know. This is just for uh, future Nick uh, to, to decide on what to do with these. So I'm going to put these off to the side. Um, and you know what? I think I am going to try to open up uh, all of these packs today. So there's quite a few. I'm playing around with a new camera here. So uh, the, the settings may be off a little bit. Just bear with me if things go sideways. Um, so let's uh, let's start with the top here. I'm gonna do two packs at a time, um, and we're gonna they're all Maridon and Caridons. So let's open it and see. I'm gonna keep those code cards. And uh, I want to say that there's four. I, I honestly forgot. I don't think it's four actually. Yeah, I think it was just one. So we have a Curlia. Uh, ooh, we are starting off with fire here. Um, so we have a gold um, fighting energy. So that's that's pretty good stuff right here. So we're off to a good start. So I'll I'll just put it up on the camera here. That's what we're that's what we're dealing with as far as our first major hit. Uh, let's put that off to the side. Um, and these packs, I think if I recall correctly, and it's been a while since I opened them. I think we get two reverse hollows, maybe a potential for a uh, trainer gallery type card. Um, but let's. Uh, Let's put these off to the side. We'll we'll see what we got here too. Fido, Dedenne, uh, Pine Pineco, uh, Flittle, uh, Crocolar, Muck, and Florgez. All right, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. So a lot of these new Pokemon I I have not uh, encountered in the game. So it's like if I don't encounter it in the game, if it's not part of my party, if I don't catch it, it it doesn't resonate with me as much as the older ones do, and Good thing enough is I, I have a pre-order set for a Japanese set, um, Pokemon 151, I think is what they're calling it currently, which is all Kanto Pokemon. So that's that's my jam right there. Um, so that's one card from the top. This is a Leaf Energy. We have a Skiddo. Quaxly, that was my starter in the game. Squovit. Uh, Charsadet. Fretress. Rocky Helm. Uh, Mabostiff, Mankey, Maria likes Mankey, and this is a reverse hollow. I'm sure she'll be pretty thrilled. Uh, we have a Toad's Cruel, and we have another Fire card, so we have a Great Tusk. I actually think we, me and Maria might have pulled this from our Elite Trainer Box, uh, but still, we're, we're off to a good start here. We have a, um, a Gold Energy, and we have an Ultra Rare here, so not, not bad start. Two packs in. Uh, the question is, are we going to be able to maintain? So let's go ahead and pull two more off the top. These, there's something about these packs, they feel like they're thicker too. I don't, the, the foil uh, seems like it might be higher quality. I don't know. The 
Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon company, or at least the ones that produce the trading cards, have been hit and miss as far as quality goes. Um, so you never know. They could be having a comeback now. It could be more in, in line with the Japanese stuff. Uh, we have a Water Energy. I'm just going to make a pile here. Uh, we have a Tandemoss, Smoliv, Primeape to go with that Mankey uh, for Maria, Palmy, Torkoal, uh, Breloom, Kilowattrel. We have a Judge, which is a Reverse Hollow. We have a Penny, which looks to be uh, one of those gallery cards. I don't, I don't know what they're calling them in this set. If I zoom in here, uh, they just have two stars next to them. I probably have to look that up, but this is a trainer card. I'm just going to call it Trainer Gallery because that's what it's kind of been for the past few sets with the exception of Galarian Gallery. Um, and then we have a Paw Mott to go with the Paw Me that I had pulled. All right, so I'm going to put that off to the Fire fire Collection there. Um, oh, it wasn't all Maradon Karadon, so these are the starters. I actually think that I want to keep the starters as one of the sets too. Um, so unfortunately, we're going to have an odd number of packs here. I'm going to put this off to the side because that's a cool one to keep sealed. This is base set after all. So we're just going to skip ahead here to these. Um, the starters are always nice. I know that there's, uh, uh, for the English set, there's, um, what is it, Obsidian Fire, which which features Charmander on the box. So that's that's pretty cool. All right, so we have uh, Energy. We have a Fuecoco, that was Maria's, Drowsy, uh, Nimona, Lechonk, Greedent, Vavillion. We have a Dosh Bun. We have a Reverse Hollow Bisharp. I think that's Reverse Hollow. Yeah, it's got that shine to it. We've got a Squovit Reverse Hollow, and we have a full art trainer card. Uh, so this is Professor's Research. Awesome. I think every one of these packs so far has had fire. Um, every single one. Um, so that's pretty miraculous odds here. I'm going to put this off to the side. Um, generally, we don't we don't have that kind of kind of results, at least not for the English sets. So, so far, so good. All right, one from the top, which is different from the other sets, which is generally four or three. Um, and then we have Basic Energy, Lechonk, Starly, uh, Clauncher, Dolive, Winkalone, Spirit Tome, yeah, I'm looking so, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about the Kanto set. Uh, 151, the first 151 Pokemon. So it looks like they're probably including Mew into the mix. It'd be cool if they did a gag and did it for uh, like missing number from, from red and blue, uh, like the glitch Pokemon that wasn't really a Pokemon. It was just a glitch in the game for item duplication, but it'd be cool if they just did like a throwback of some sort to that. We have a reverse hollow energy retrieval. We have a quack of all. So one of my starters. And we have a Cyclozar. So this is the first uh, pack where, where we just had a hollow, um, which I think all of these actually are guaranteed a hollow. I don't know if they do um, non-hollow cards in this set anymore, uh, which would be cool if every if everyone uh, comes out on top with a hollow. Something you might notice on this video is I'm actually going to go through this whole box. Um, so. I'm going to open up all these packs. Usually what I do is I save them for Erica and, and Nathan and whatnot, but they're, they're not, they're not entirely too interested in, um, opening cards at the moment because it's summer. I mean, there's better things to do. Um, so I don't blame them. I've been, I've been the same way. All right. So we have a basic energy. We have a rare candy, a Fido, Dedenne, Pineco, Zangoose, Stonejourner, we have a Penny, we have a Reverse Hollow Sandaconda, we have a Go Goat Reverse Hollow, and we have a standard Professor's Research. So maybe our luck has uh, ran out a little bit. I don't know. Uh, but so far, I mean, we've got four, four pretty good pulls. I'm surprised about the Gold Energy card as my first one. But I'm always a fan of these special 
uh, gallery cards. If I mean, again, I don't know what they're called in this set. Um, I'm going to call them a, a gallery. Um, let's go ahead and open up. What is this? Uh, Maridon right here. Let's check it out. Fighting Energy. Uh, Tarantula. I heard this one was pretty good for, for com competition in the game, uh, but it never worked out for me. Bug type and me, I can never pull it off. Magneton. Clodzer. Uh, Redent. Uh, Crocodile. Flamigo. A potion. And we have a Toxtricity. Oh, and we have another one back there. My bad. Uh, it's throwing me off with the with the multiple reverse hollows. We have another professor's research with a different professor. Um, so cool, cool stuff. All right. So next two packs. All right. So we have a one energy. Flabebe, Growlithe. That's a cool looking Growlithe. I like the cartoon, the, the cartoon arts the best. Staravia, Routes, Porkel, Scovillian, Oinkalone, uh, Alamola. Alamomola. Uh, we have the reverse hollow here, and we have an Arboliva. All right, that's, uh, I don't think I've ever encountered that one before. Um, all right, so we have a Coridon here. That's my Pokemon in the game. Yeah, I'm curious to know what uh, the Scarlet and Violet series um, will offer as far as has cards. Since um, I don't know how many new new Pokemon they actually introduced. I know they did the, the Area Zero uh, Pokemon. Um, which like, I wonder if we're gonna get like a scream tail in these in this set or not. Probably not this set, but maybe in the future. Watchroll, uh, S, uh, S Par Artha, Arvin, Cacturn, Metatite, Poke Gear 3.0, and we have a Coridon. It'd be cool if I could get a Coridon EX. Um, that'd be pretty dope. All right, two more packs. All right, one from the top. We have a Water Energy, a Flittle, a Fuecoco, Drowsy, Nimona, Metacham, Quaxwell, Experience Share, Tropius, is that a reverse? Yeah, put that in the reverse pile. Crocodile and oh my goodness! All right, we have the Arcanine EX. All right, so this is probably one of the one of the coolest ones in the set because it kind of looks like a shiny card. I don't even think we pulled this one in the Japanese. Um, so I think when I show this one to Maria, she's going to be pretty pretty thrilled that we got it in our collection now. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, love it. Growlithe and Arcanine were always my po favorite Pokemon back in the day, um, too. So that's pretty awesome. Put that off to the side here. We'll go. Over, we'll review those coming up, uh, but it should be good. All right, go ahead and open up another pack here. All right, so one from the top. Basic Energy. Um, so me and Erica actually played the new Pokemon trading card live game. So they um, changed it from Pokemon TCGO or Pokemon TCG online. Uh, we had played a lot of Pokemon TCGO. Um, it was actually our first time yesterday playing the the, the live version that, that they're making everyone migrate to. The experience is not as good. I'm surprised. Um, so I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, the graphics on my iPad were not as good. Uh, the experience was confusing. Um, it'd be cool if they can get it up to speed with the other version. I mean, I'm not quite sure why they changed it to begin with, but you know what? It is what it is. It's free. I can't complain. Um, but it was a lot more fun in the other version. A Grieverd, 
And we have a Bonnet EX. Sweet. Put that into the pile there. Got some more packs here. Yeah, she likes playing the, the game with me um, a lot more than all the other stuff. All right, basic energy. A uh, Tandemoss. Poke Gear 3.0. Floet. Mastiff. Breloom. Uh, Kilowattrel. Heracross. Professor's Research. Lechonk Reverse Hollow. I think Professor's Research was also a Reverse Hollow. Sometimes it slips past me. I'll put that in the Reverse Hollow pile. Lechonk, and we have a Revavroom Hollow. They do look very Japanese um, if you've ever opened up the Japanese packs before. Um, so very interesting that they've gone this direction with the silver borders. It's definitely confusing when you when you think you see something shiny back there and it just turns out to be a a reverse hollow. And not just one, you got two of them. So then they're really it's really deceptive. Alright, fire energy, uh Crocorock, Mankey, Squawkabilly, uh Capsicid, Mesagoza, Heracross, Defiance Band. Floatzel, Arvin, a, oh, that, the, the Floatzel was reverse hollow, and we have a Skelderidge. I wonder what person goes and, and names the English versions of the, these Pokemon. So that, there's no way that they're anything close to that in, in Japan. I, I can't, I wouldn't believe it if you told me that a Pokemon was called Floatzel in Japanese. So I'm wondering whose job it is uh, in the Pokemon Company United States to either translate it to these names or um, to just come up with the names. That seems like a pretty cool job to come up with names of Pokemon. And I imagine they don't have to match the Japanese version at all as far as naming convention. You can call it whatever you want. Um, so, But I, I, don't, I don't really know how it works. Leaf Energy. Lechonk. Flabebe. Growlithe, Staravia, uh, Toad's Cruel, Cyclozar, Vitality Band, Energy Switch Reverse Hollow, Pachirisu. Oh, we got something back there. And we have a Great Tusk EX. So, what did I get before? I got a. So, I got uh, two versions of it. So I think what's happening here is um, if I look at the pack, something that I didn't take notice of, actually, um, I'll just, pull, well, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I was figuring um, maybe there's a scarlet version and maybe there's a violet version. I don't, I don't know. Um, but I mean, am I missing something? These are the same Pokemon, right? Great Tusk EX, Great Tusk EX. Um just different, I guess, different variants based on your game is what I, if, if I were to make any kind of assumption. But if you know for sure, drop drop a comment in, in the comments section of these videos. Let me know. Let me know what the reality is. I'm not a, I'm definitely by no means an expert here on everything. Um, just a fan. And um, definitely my fandom comes from the earlier stuff. But it's still, it's still going on. All right, Toad School. Sandile, Houndoom, Fido, Oinkalone, Spirit Tome, Ultra Ball, Magneton Reverse Hollow, Spirit Tome Reverse Hollow, and an Annihilate Hollow. So I got the whole trifecta here: Mankey, Primeape, and Annihilate. Um, so all all stuff that Maria likes. So. She can add this to her collection for sure. All right, get some more packs here. One from the top, Fire Energy. We've got a Routes, Tandemoss, Pokegear 3, Floet, Toxtricity, uh, Mousehold, uh, Crocolore, Spupa, is that a reverse? It is reverse. Spupa reverse. 
Uh, Sprigatito. So neither of us started with this Pokemon. And we have a Maridon. So we actually have a Maridon and a Coridon, standard hollow, but not yet do we have an EX version of those. But we still, we've still we got about half of a booster box left. I'm not, not terribly fast. Maria says that I talk too much. Um, but let's. there's still an opportunity here. Um, an Alamola, Pomo, Toad's Cool, a Rotom, Driftblim, Nest Ball, Pachirisu, Winkalone. We have another one of those gallery looking cards. We have a Fido. This is this is pretty cool. I definitely love these gallery looking cards. And I again I don't know what they're truly called in this set. Um, but pretty dope. And then we have another Rev of Room. So let's add this one to this to the collection here. I know I should be sleeving it. Maria would probably have a heart attack here if she saw this lineup. Um, but you know, it's everyone opens differently. Yeah, these packs they feel so much different than the other sets. And I, I have other sets on the shelf still too that I hope to open soon. But uh, the foil on these is definitely a lot thicker. Maybe they're doing it to prevent people from weighing stuff. We have a Cacnea. Sandile, Mareep, Silicobra, Rocky Helmet, Mabostiff, Miriam, Magikarp. That's a cool Magikarp right there, Reverse Hollow. Again, doesn't really do anything. So typical Magikarp. We have a Riolu, pretty cool. And we have a Slowbro. Another cool art there. Oh, you can move damage counters around. That's a that's a good ability right there. Like it. I love it. People use that on me all the time. I actually, I actually played one game last night. That was just one game on Pokemon TCG Live. I was doing terrible at the start. None of my decks worked because they didn't transfer over correctly. So I used one of the stock decks that was available to me. I was doing so terrible most of the game. And then towards the end, I just I, I had a comeback. And it worked out. But it wasn't my deck, unfortunately. So I, I do have to get everything all polished and transferred over correctly so that way I can play it for real. Sprigatito, Houndor, um, Espathra, Arvin, Cacturn, Reverse Hollow Flittle. We have another Growlithe, Reverse Hollow. And we have two Slow Bros in a row. All right, well, I guess if I want to make a deck of water type Pokemon, um, that's an option. All right, let's keep going. We're almost done. Just throwing my garbage on the floor. Oops, where am I going with that card? All right, we have an energy. Palmy, Smoliv, Wiglet, Grievered, Florgez, Muck, Vivillian, Silicobra, we have a Drift Loon to go with the Drift Blim. And we have an Indeedy Hollow. All right, here's my starters pack. All right, Fighting Energy. I'm still I'm still stoked that I got that uh, Gold fi Fighting Energy. Chansey. Rare Candy. Fido, Didene, uh, Picnic Basket, uh, Bombardier, I don't, know how to, I don't know how to say it correctly, Hypno, we have a Reverse Hollow of a Vroom, or no, this is just a Varoom, we have a Beach Court, and we have an Amarouge. Interesting. All right, finishing it up here. Let's. We got to get one of those uh, Maridon Karidon EX cards. I'm, I, we got the Arcanine. That's probably the best EX one that I have right now. But you know what? This is a Scarlet and Violet set. I need a Maridon and Karidon. Riolu, Go Goat, Dedene, 
Spirit Tomb, Ultra Ball, Vitality Band, Toxel, Drowsy, and a Mes uh, a Meowscarada. All right, you know what I'm noticing? I've only got two of the, um, where is it? Actually, yeah, I have two. I have two of these uh, f uh, trainer galley looking cards. Figured I'd get a lot more of them. I don't know how many are in this set. I don't, I don't have my uh, my booklet that came with the ETB offhand to know what what exactly is in this set. I think there's a a guard of war that I should be pulling at some point. Hopefully, pull it in the Japanese variety. All right, Drifloon, uh, Seta Setotl, Varum. Magikarp, uh, Mescoza, Heracross, Defiance Band, uh, Skeldurge, Skel Skela Skeladurge. We have a, um, a, a Charsadet, and we have a Don Don Dozo, Ugh. and I, I swear. I, I put I put a decent amount of hours in this in this Scarlet Violet game, and I don't even know if this is a Scarlet Violet Pokemon, but I didn't encounter it. Um, there are a lot of sets where where a lot of these Pokemon. Are, this is the first time I've seen them. I'm telling you, I'm old. I'm used to the old uh, the old Pokemon. Um, if I didn't encounter it in a game, I, it's just I don't know about it. Basically. Means I gotta go back and play some more games. So that's what that means. I'm hoping they do some more remakes on the Switch, like uh, the Brilliant Diamond stuff uh, and and Pearl. Um, it'd be cool if if they if they did other games like remakes like that. I, I'd buy them. I like that style. I don't need the big open world stuff. Although my favorite was the Legends Arceus. That. That was basically a perfect game, in my opinion. I know, I know, it didn't get a lot of good reception, like it was like there wasn't enough going on, such and such, but it captured everything that I wanted in a Pokemon game. So it'd be cool if there was more like that. Scavillion. That's that's not a reverse. We have a Krogunk. Hold on, I'm trying to make a pile here. I got my piles are getting pretty pretty high here. Dedene and a Halucha. All right. It'd be cool if they did more. Like if they did decide to remake Gold and Silver again. I mean they've already remade it, but if they decide to give it the Nintendo Switch treatment, I hope that they do not go with the Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee approach. Um as much as I liked um, that game, I did not care for the whole that it was catered more towards the Pokemon Go crowd and the motion controls. Um, if they had made it more uh, uh, of the Diamond Pearl remake kind of strategy, I, I would go for that. Um, but it'd be really cool if they could like remake it to be like uh, Arceus, where you can just go around and sneak up on Pokemon, things like that. Wait, Coco. I really like sneaking up on them. Drowsy. I like the speed behind things too. How you can you can choose to battle and 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 capture fast or do the slow approach. Sandaconda, throw some food at them and 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 kind of charm them. Uh, Katie, Staravia, Skido, and Miasca uh, All right. So I have officially. What do I got? I've got, how do I have so many packs left? I still have eight packs left. I must be going real slow here, um, but that's all right. We're 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 having a good time opening up some, some cards. It's been a while. I don't think I've put out a Pokemon card video in at least a month. Um, not because I didn't have product, not because I'm not interested, but just because I have other stuff going on. We're doing vacations, we're doing fun, we're doing all kinds of good stuff. So you gotta make room for everything. Curlia, Switch, Fuecoco, Tropius, 
Hawkstricity. Although my current game of choice right now is uh, Tears of the Kingdom, uh, Legend of Zelda. That's what I'm. That's what I'm investing a lot of my gaming time in. Uh, Crocolore. Uh oh, I got something cool back there. I got a a Mastiff, Reverse, and we have a Mabastiff, a special trainer card. Uh, that is awesome. And we have a Houndstone. Let's add that one to the list. All right, let's see what else we got. All right, one from the top. Lightning. I'm gonna make another pile here. So I've got uh, Magnemite, uh, a uh, Tarantula, Pokemon Catcher, Clauncher, Driftblim, Nest Ball, Pachirisu, Quax. Well, I think I have the whole trifecta on that one now. We have a Crushing Hammer. And we have a, another Maridon. All right, so wait, waiting on the EX card. Uh, hopefully it comes today. Let's go ahead and open up another one. Remember, I did put three, three packs to the side for my sealed collection because I, I do like all the art. Um, and it is base set of, of this particular expansion. So they're good to have. They're cool to have. Basic Energy. Grimer. Bruxish. Cacnea. Magikarp. Torkoal. Uh, Breloom. Kilowattrel. Greedent. Magnemite. Ooh, we have a Spidops EX. All right. That's another another cool one. Never never had it in my gang here. Uh, this attack is 30 more damage for each um, colorless energy in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. Uh, most Pokemon don't have too many retreat costs, but I, it could get up there. Uh, so not not too bad. Oh, it, and it has ability. Your opponent's Pokemon retreat cost is uh, one more. So that could be a pretty good card. Just looking at it from a gaming perspective here. All right, we have one from the top, Fire Energy, Pokeball, Rotom, a Palpad, a Flabebe, Florgaz, Muck, Vivillion, Fido, we have a Masquerada, and we have a Quackaval Hollow. All right, so we're we're seeing a lot of familiar faces now. Um, so, trying to I know that there's a lot of ultra rares in this set, so I'm hoping that we we see them in the last few packs here. We have a basic energy, Nimona, Lechonk, Flabebe, Growlithe, Staraptor, Electric Generator, a Wugtrio, Shroomish. We have a Buizel, and we have a Toxicroak EX. You know what, at least when we're pulling these um, these EX cards or any of the good cards, we haven't hit any doubles yet of them. We've hit plenty of doubles on the hollows, but the ones that matter, we've got a lot of uniqueness, so that's good. I don't know if, I don't think the booster boxes guarantee uniqueness. I mean, I think I've, we've had booster boxes where we pulled like two or three of the same, same card that were ultras. Um, so it's good that we've got a lot of uniqueness here. Basic Energy, Dolive, Quaxley, Crushing Hammer, Starly, Picnic Basket, uh, Bombardier, Hypno, uh, Mabostiff, we have a Staraptor, and we have another Indeedee. All right, two packs left, everyone, two packs. Let's hope for fire at uh, at the end of these. Let's hope for some fire. I know that uh, the Maridon Karadon EX cards, they're not even the most sought after cards in this set, like far from it, but they're cool because they're kind of the mascots of this particular game. Magnemite, Energy Switch, Varum, Clauncher, Greedent, Crocodile, 
Flamigo, Switch, Energy Switch, and a Clef Key. That's a new one. Sweet. One pack left. Let's hope for the best here. And then we're going to review. We're going to review what we pulled. So let's check it out. All right, here we go. Fighting Energy. Uh, Spewpa. Metatite. Energy Search. Grimer. Crocodile. Flamigo. Fret uh, Fretress. Uh, Tarantula. Wait, was this the reverse? Yeah, that's a reverse. We've got one more. So Wug Trio and Dondazo. Oh my gosh. All right, that was not a good way to end it. We did not end it on a high note. Uh, this was almost a full bo uh, booster box. Minus three packs, which probably had the fire I was looking for. Um, but let's let's take a look at some of the, the cards that we got. Let me see if I can scoop them up. Now this mat uh, makes it a little, little hard, but that's all right. I'll sleeve them up uh, after we're done here. But we have the, the Penny card. We have the Arcanine EX. That's probably probably my favorite of this of this opening. Toxic Croak EX, Spide Ops EX, um, Boss Diff, Fido, Professor's Research. We have a Gold Energy. I know that people love these Gold Energy cards. Um, I'm neutral about it. Bennett EX, Great Tusk, and then Great Tusk. Um, so two Great Tusks here, different different varieties. Um, so that that's a, that's the booster box opening in a nutshell. It's been sitting on the shelf for weeks. Um, haven't had a chance to open it. We're already looking at our next set coming out, so I haven't even done that much Scarlet and Violet yet. Um, but I do have Pokemon product coming. Like I said, I also have Pokemon product on the shelf. It's just a matter of time, so stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be opening up um, a lot more on this channel. If you like this video, please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to the video, or not to the video, to the channel. Uh, it means a lot to me. Drop me a comment. Uh, hit that like button, do all that stuff. Um, it helps the channel, it helps me out, um, and it shows me that, that people appreciate or at least care about the stuff that I'm working on. Until next time, everyone, have a great rest of your day.